Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be preparing phthalic anhydride from phthalic acid. The beaker seen here contains approximately 60 grams of phthalic acid. It's placed on a hot plate and the hot plate is turned onto medium high heat. As it began to heat up, I placed a piece of aluminum foil in a metal pan and set it aside for later when I want to collect my product. While that's going on, I'll talk a little bit about the reaction. For most carboxylic acids, it is impossible to form the acid anhydride just by heating. But phthalic acid is special. Because it contains two acid groups, which are adjacent to each other, the formation of phthalic anhydride actually forms a ring. The ring is quite stable, and this makes the formation of phthalic anhydride much more favorable compared to other acid anhydrides. Because of this, when you heat phthalic acid to around 180 Celsius, it begins to dehydrate, giving off water and becoming phthalic anhydride. Eventually, it will stop giving off water and completely melt, signaling the end of reaction. You can see water condensing on the walls of the beaker as this reaction takes place. After about 30 minutes, we reached this state. Water was no longer being emitted. An evaporating dish was placed on top to contain the subliming phthalic anhydride. The solid then melted, and we poured it out onto the piece of aluminum foil to collect. The product solidified and was broken up and placed into a bottle for storage. Here is the pure white phthalic anhydride. 